Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is just a small clip of my daughter learning how to walk. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys, during the time that I was shed shopping, these are the things that I was doing in between the moments of me shed shopping, like teaching my daughter how to walk. So these are beautiful milestones I just wanted to share with you guys. So if you'll be patient enough to just watch her as go. she tries to learn at that time. Yeah, yeah she's so cute, such Aww. a blessing, guys. To watch a child grow. Yay, her and daddy. Oh. Okay, so now back to the topic here. Bye bye. <laughs> but, anyways, this is Vlogmas, and I am uploading yep. several videos yep. during this time of year. So, I hope you can collaborate with me and support me during this time. But let's get into the video, what you came here for. Get straight into it. So guys, I've been shed shopping, as you guys already know from the other videos. I just wanted to show you this beautiful, quaint shed. It's mostly um, aluminum, I believe, the shed. And I just wanted to show you guys, you know, some of my shed shopping experience before I actually settled on a shed. Two light pictures. There go the door. You guys, you can definitely fit a um queen size mattress in here. You could fit a queen size mattress right here into this thing and put a dresser right there and they're good to go. Queen size mattress can go right there. Mm -hmm. yep. But we do have another one of these. It's the same size. Oh, it has two windows instead of, oh, it's just different. Right, it just has two, the two front windows. Okay. It's got a porch light it fixture. Has light, it just has the two outlets, it only has one light. Okay, this is smaller though. It feels smaller. It feels smaller, but it's the same exact size. Really? That's yeah, a 10 by 16. Maybe it's because the window's missing there. Maybe I that's right. We're gonna need uh, AC though. These are nice. Oh, yeah. And this is 3,000. Okay guys, so as you can see that this shed was going for about 3200 base price and to get extra stuff in it like the doors and stuff like that, we were looking at 3800 and all of this includes delivery and everything else. So that's way out of my budget for a shed, but it was still a nice, you know, nice number around 3 3000 um 200 yeah, I wasn't looking for a shed that much. So I kept looking. Oh, don't mind me, guys. This is my daughter. The, her birthday just happened, and I felt kind of bad. We weren't able to celebrate it, so we just let her play with her toy, her new toy. We opened up her gift a little early so she could play with her toy and enjoy herself. So there she is driving her car. Hey, girl. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. So shed shopping, always look around, try to find the best deals, the best price. I eventually found one after like I prayed, sat down, took my time again and prayed about it because my my budget was really in the 800s, close to a thousand. At the most I would spend is 1500 and that's where I wanted to stay.
So I was looking for deals on Craigslist. I was looking everywhere just for a decent shed. I didn't really want the plastic ones because you can't really do a she shed with it later on. So I wanted a versatile one. I really wanted the wood one. So I went crazy trying to find it. And finally, you know what? I just gave in and I was like, let me just go one more time because I really need a shed. I need my patio cleaned out. And I went to Lowe's, walked around, asked the people one more time. And they were like, yeah, we have one on clearance right now. I was like, what? Went out there, found one for only a thousand dollars, already pre-built. I was so excited. I was like, "Yes, prayer works," because I literally went home and prayed before, you know, I went shopping again because I was getting so frustrated. And bam, I was able to find my beauty. So when I got my beauty, I noticed that outside there were a few other ones. I wanted the bigger one, but I think it was a twelve by eight, and that one was already sold anyways. But I wanted that initially. But it would be too big to fit my backyard. So I had to go with the smaller one, which $1,000, like I said, was in my budget. So it worked out perfectly. Um, here is the video of how we got it in my backyard. Oh, and I had to pay $500 for delivery from Shed Movers. They were awesome, by the way. So guys, as you can see, like they were trying to fit it in from the right side of my house they it was so crazy guys it was it was exciting but i was freaking out like oh my gosh are they gonna break something but thank goodness they got it under control they had to take it off the truck and put it on a big lifter and they started just wheeling it back these are just the pictures that i took um while i was recording so they were slowly going you know merging back taking it their time to get it back there this is the corner between my yard and the neighbor's yard so how they had to try to finesse that thing through. It was crazy. You guys don't mind me doing this, right? It was super scary. Okay. He was like, I got to get to the backyard. So I had to let him in my backyard through my house. Oh, you can, you can go through the house. You can go through the house. <laughs> go on in. You're welcome. Mom's Yep, as you guys can see, they're trying to find a way to get that trailer through the gate. But as you see on the floor, that's the other piece of the gate that my husband chopped down with a saw. So we ended up having to get the other side chopped down. Y'all, look at my backyard. It's a hot mess. The hurricane came by and knocked everything out. It's just, ugh, living in Florida is just the worst sometimes, guys. I'm telling you. But, right. you know, but what? two hurricanes out of nine years almost i think we're doing okay but still i can't wait till i start doing more diys with the backyard so you guys can do it with me yay but yeah guys we're just waiting for the guys patiently to get this thing through the gate they gotta find a way not to mess up the um neighbor's gate while trying to get through that little gate but eventually we ended up there he goes he's asking me for a saw so we're gonna saw that other side down They cut off the um, the other side of the gate. They had to saw down the post because it was cemented on. But after they were all finished, my husband and I, we ended up putting it all back together. But that's minimal just to get this thing in. Now look at her coming. It's going to be smooth sailing.
so yeah guys so as they're moving it you got to be careful see how they hit the top line of the of the cable cord that was going to my satellite dish so all of this stuff is like you got to be very careful when um moving a shed just pay attention and make sure your property is safe when they're doing this just to make sure if anything happens you know who to call for your insurance okay with their insurance as well because they're insured too so but anyways guys they were asking me where to place the shed and place the shed and there was some very minor damages to the shed after it was delivered um only because it's a display shed so the door was left open most of the time at the lowe's location so as you can tell like i'll show you with the door the little damages on the door but um other than that it was smooth sailing i mean a thousand dollars for a shed and five hundred dollars for delivery i think we did a good job i think we got a good deal yeah now i'm asking him to move the shed over because that's way too too far back so yeah hey guys so after going back and forth a few times on where I wanted it exactly. The guys went out to their truck and got a few blocks and anchors to anchor the shed. And um, that was pretty cool. That was all included in the price. Um, so once again, this is shed movers in Florida. So this is pretty cool. They they um, mounted it up. So if there's a hurricane or whatever, a flood, it won't get damaged, hopefully. isn't she lovely look at her she's so cute she's a pretty shed but anyways guys the guys ended up helping me um they anchored down the shed for me that was all included included in the price the 500 and um they also set up my shed for me as far as you know because this was a a display shed so there were some uh, screws and nails that were in weird places that they needed to take apart now remember i did buy this as is as a display so you're gonna have a little bit of boo-boos here and there but for the most part everything is solid except for that little bump you see there on the side you'll probably have to get someone to do a little work to the door because this thing's really sticking a lot okay Kind of latch, it yeah. won't latch all the way. No, because the door is warped. Oh, shoot. From being open all the time, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a display model, so that's kind of what you get when you buy a display. But I could just nail this and it'll stay. You probably okay. need to reinforce the inside with some 2 by 4s You know, see there's nothing down there. Okay. You might need to build like a little frame uh -huh. for the door to straighten it back up and it'll probably latch better. Okay. You might even be able to take that out and slide it out a little bit to give you a little more. Okay, you room. said slide this out? Yeah, loosen that Allen screw. Mm -hmm. Slide it out just a little bit and it'll handle the turn easier. Okay. And then maybe free frame on the inside the door a little bit with two okay. by fours. Two by, that's not a two by four, that's something else. No, that's just trim. Okay. Yeah, they didn't really stick much on the door. Mm -hmm. so put maybe a couple two but by But it's still a good deal for yeah, a thousand bucks, right? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, you didn't go wrong there. Yay. Yeah. Thank you guys. No problem. Man. So now we just got to watch the dog when he comes out. Yeah. You probably just like leaning across there for now. Huh? You probably just like leaning across the opening for now. Oh something. yeah, just yeah. That was th yeah, but I can't do it myself. Yeah. It's okay. I wait till my husband gets home. Oh hey, you know See, thank you. Hey. Those guys were pretty awesome. They gave me great advice. I gave them a great review. They were pretty cool guys that came and helped me. And he basically told me to put the gate out front, temporary gate, so my dog wouldn't get out. So guys, if you're in the market for a shed or just like watching DIY videos and stuff like that of things being built like me, go ahead, comment down below, subscribe, whatever, do what you want to do. I hope you support my channel. This is just me showing you guys. I actually, after a year of looking for a shed, I finally got it and now I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor. Yay. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.